Hello, my name is Jan Rossler, and today I will be showing you how to install the Sunny TriPower 3.0 to 6.0 quickly and easily. This device is a new member of the successful Sunny TriPower series. The uniqueness of the device is its compact design and low weight of only 17 kilograms. In addition, the inverter has an integrated RS-485 interface, which can be used for direct communication with the TS-4R components for module level optimization. And of course, it also uses our automated smart connected service. Included in the scope of delivery are the user manual, the inverter, the AC connection plug, sun clicks for the DC connection, the cap for the Ethernet port, the screws for the anti removal protection device, the WLAN antenna, and a wall mounting bracket. The advantage of the Sunny TriPower is that you do not have to remove the cover during installation. All connections are located at the lower end of the device and can be accessed from the outside without additional installation work. Here we have the AC connection. The red cap is the cover for the antenna port. Ethernet. Next to it are the MPP Tracker A and MPP Tracker B connections. And it is also possible to connect a grounding conductor. The DC isolator for switching on the device is located on the side here. The text up can be read on the wall mounting bracket. This specifies which way up to attach the wall mounting bracket. It also comes with six holes. You should use at least three of these. On the rear side of the Sunny TriPower, there are two guide pins on the left and right, on the inside of the outer cooling fins, which are for hanging the inverter on the wall mounting bracket. Now I will show you how to hang the inverter onto the wall mounting bracket. At around 17 kilos, it is ideally suited for installation by one person. Once the Sunny TriPower has been hung on the wall, you will need to attach the anti-removal protection device. Two screws are included for this purpose. Please use a TX25 screwdriver to attach these screws on the left and right. Let's start the electrical installation process with the AC connection. As with any electrical installation, please make sure that the connection cables are disconnected or de-energized. Now, connect the AC cable to the AC connector. Make sure that L1, L2, L3, N and the grounding conductor are connected correctly. Now, push the connector together till you hear a click. And then screw on the swivel nut. Connect the fully assembled AC connector to the inverter. Let's continue with the DC side. Seal the unused DC inputs using the DC connectors and filler plugs provided. This will keep the inverter watertight. With the Sunny TriPower, it is the first time possible to operate the two MPP trackers in parallel. Parallel operation is detected automatically by the inverter, with no need for further configuration. This makes it possible to double the permissible input current of the inverter. Now let's connect the PV array via the DC connector. The easiest way to establish a communication connection with the inverter is to use WLAN. To do this, Remove the red cap and screw on the antenna supply. If you are using wired communication via an Ethernet connection, first place both sections of the swivel nut on the cable. Then, put the slotted rubber ring over the cable. and insert it into the bottom section of the swivel nut. Now remove the jack for the LAN plug. Then, connect the LAN plug to the inverter. Turn the sleeve on it and tighten the swivel nut by hand.
Finally, switch on the inverter on the AC side and actuate the DC switch. There are three LEDs on the cover of the Sunny TriPower. The green LED on the left is the indication light. This will flash green once commissioning is done. The LED also tells you if solar power is being fed in. The more fed in, the brighter the light appears. The blue LED on the right indicates that the WPS function is active. When the red LED in the middle lights up, this indicates that there is a fault. The electrical and mechanical installation process is now complete. One more important thing. To ensure standard compliant operation, you have to select and activate your local country dataset via the installation wizard. You then have to configure your device via the integrated web interface using the commissioning wizard. Next, you will need to register it in Sunny Portal to activate the free SMA Smart Connected Service Package to enable you to monitor the PB system. In other videos, we will show you how to configure the inverter via the integrated web interface, the settings you will need for the TSR4 components, and how to register in Sunny Portal.